Welcome to the PSID Web Tutorial, Documentation and Online Resources. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We'll start with an overview of the online study documentation, followed by an introduction to the online bibliography, and finally, instructions on how to receive news from PSID. To begin, let's start from the PSID's homepage, psid.org. Click on the Documentation tab under the PSID banner. The Questionnaires and Supporting Documentation heading contains links to documentation for the main PSID and supplemental studies. The main study documentation is organized by decade and year within decade. For the 2013 family file, for example, you will find the 2013 user guide, the 2013 questionnaire that shows the flow of the questions, and the 2013 codebook that includes the frequencies for all variables. Below you will find documentation about the sample weights, also by year. Cross-sectional and longitudinal weights are described in separate documents. Documentation for the PSID's supplemental studies may be found on the right-hand side of the page. The documentation page also has a link to frequently asked questions. This page is the first place to look for answers about how to use the PSID. To search the entire FAQ page, click on the Expand All button and enter a keyword of your choosing into your browser's find bar, or select from the links at the top of the page to narrow down the FAQs by topic. For example, if you're new to the PSID, you might want to start by looking at PSID terminology. This page also has a direct link in the Quick Link sidebar on the right-hand side of the page. Also found on the documentation page are links to a page with video tutorials, these brief videos cover a variety of topics of interest to users and are regularly updated. PSID in the Classroom links to a page which contains sample syllabi. The file structure heading links to a document with examples of merging individual and family level data. We also provide a set of PSID interviewer training videos. On the right side of the documentation page you'll find the newest data highlights document, the latest set of study brochures, and a set of documents that summarize survey content by topic. For instance, the health status and behavior in the main interview document divides relevant variables into several domains, followed by the question text or information that is collected, and finally specifics on whom the question is asked about and in which years. Next, let's take a look at the PSID's online bibliography. Click on the tab that reads Pubs and Meetings. In addition to the PSID bibliography, this page contains links to publications on data quality, PSID's technical paper series, a list of news articles mentioning the PSID, a list of PSID conferences, a list of congressional testimony based on the PSID, a list of books about the PSID, and the schedule for the on-campus PSID seminar series. Let's take a look at the online bibliography. The bibliography contains journal articles, books, dissertations, and a limited number of reports and is updated quarterly. You can search the bibliography by typing search terms into the author, title, or journal entry spaces. You may also select type of publication, year of publication, and keywords. To see journal articles published in 2015, for example, check the box marked Journal Articles deselect the check all box in year and then select 2015. Before clicking on the search button, you can choose to sort the citations, for example, by author in ascending, that is alphabetical, order. Select the search button to see the list of citations in your web browser or export search to generate a text file. Another helpful feature for data users is PSID's news page. Click on the News heading under the PSID banner. This page maintains announcements that have been made to users since 1995, with the latest information listed first. To receive news announcements to your email, log into the website by clicking on the User Gear icon at the top right corner of the page, then click on the Settings link and check the box at the bottom of the page, then click Save. If you're a new user and wish to register, please click on the Login link under the user gear icon, select the registration tab and fill out the registration form. Once you have agreed to the conditions of use, you will submit your registration and be emailed a confirmation of your registration. This web tutorial was produced by Nora Insulera and Vicki Friedman 
in collaboration with the Michigan Center on the Demography of Aging with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the web tutorial on documentation and online resources. Comments and questions may be sent to psidhelp at umich.edu.